Hi everyone, it's Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the two polishes that I've picked up so far from the OPI Breakfast at Tiffany's collection. My Sally Beauty only had these two polishes in so far, so I made sure to pick them up. And I do have a few more on my wish list, so keep an eye out for that coming up. But I did want to show you these two beautiful polishes, let you see how they apply live, and show you how they perform. So let's get started. So first up is I Believe in Manicures. It's a beautiful soft baby blue, almost a Tiffany blue, but a little bit less green, but it's a stunning color. It's beautiful and soft, but vivid at the same time. And the next color is Black Dress Not Optional. And this is a dark black with some light silver and black shimmer running through it. It's very light, it's not very noticeable, but it does add a little bit of interest to this polish. So here comes the first coat of I Believe in Manicures, and this formula was a little bit thinner than I expected. I ended up loading a little bit too much polish on my brush here, but I was able to work with it. It wasn't difficult, and it did not want to run down the sides of my nails or in my cuticles, which was very nice. It's going on a little less opaque than I anticipated and a little bit streaky, but the second coat does smooth that out a lot. Making sure to wrap my tips here before I go on to the next nails. And this color is really interesting. It's light and soft, but it still remains very bright and vivid at the same time. It's kind of, kind of different, but I really like this shade of blue. I think it's really pretty. Um, it's not as green as much as like a Tiffany blue is because I have four Audrey from China Glaze and that's like a true Tiffany blue. So this one's definitely more like a baby blue, sky blue shade here. So here's what we have after one coat. It is a little bit streaky and uneven so I am going to apply a second. So here comes that second coat and this is applying really easily. It's definitely clinging to that first coat beautifully and just smoothing everything out, giving it a nice smooth surface here. And it's not difficult to work with at all. It's really simple, good formula, although it's a little bit thinner than I expected. Once I kind of got that learning curve done, I was able to, to get used to it. And I really like white based blues like this. I think they're really bright and punchy, but they also have a little bit of softness to them, which is why I think this, this is really nice in a winter collection as well. Definitely has a little bit of punch of color without being too bright. So I'm going to do a tiny bit of cleanup work and apply some top coat and I'll be back in a minute to show you the final results of this color. So this color is so beautiful. It's smoothed out really nicely. It's definitely self-leveling and easy to work with and gives it a final flawless result. And here's some swatch photos of I Believe in Manicures. I really like this color. I think it looks great on my skin tone. It's bright, but not too bright. And it's not too pale and pastel either. It's like walking that line between bright and pastel really nicely. And I think it's really nice and beautiful. If you don't have a blue like this, definitely pick this one up. It's really great. So here's the next shade I picked up. This is called Black Dress, Not Optional. And I am not someone who usually wears a lot of black, but I was really intrigued with this after seeing some beautiful swatch photos online. And I really liked how strong and vivid that shimmer inside was. It definitely stands up to the dark base. It doesn't get lost in there. It's even visible in, in low light situations, but it gives a beautiful look. Something about this polish I think is very dressy. It's very elegant and, and fancy looking, and I really love that. And the formula on this polish is just great. It's the perfect consistency. This is more of the classic OPI texture that I'm used to, whereas the last one was a little bit on the thinner side. This one's right on my alley. It's a little bit on the thicker side, but that's what I prefer. It just was applying very easily and nice and smooth. This is almost a one coater. I think you could probably get away with it if you didn't have as much visible nail line as I do. But I'm going to go ahead and apply a second coat here. So here comes that second coat, and as you can see, this isn't really doing much to darken up the color, but it is making that shimmer really stand out. And although this polish does dry extremely shiny, I recommend using a top coat because a top coat really does bring that shimmer out a little bit more, makes it stand out, and really gives this manicure a beautiful shine. So this polish might convert me. I really like the look of the black and that shimmer in there. Just makes it look so elegant and dressy again. This is something I would be 
really pleased to wear to a fancy dinner or an event where I really wanted a nail color that didn't shout at you. It was somewhat subdued, but still very beautiful and elegant. So that's it. That completes the swatch and review of the two polishes that I've picked up so far from the Breakfast at Tiffany's collection. As I mentioned, I have a few others on my wish list that I'm going to be picking up as soon as they're available. So keep an eye out for that video coming soon. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already so you don't miss any more videos coming up. And follow me on social media. All my links are below. Thanks again and I'll see you soon. Bye.